beautiful friends, how are you all doing? It's Mimi here today and today's hair tutorial is going to be something really cute and sexy. Today's hair uh, tutorial look will be called bed hair, so sexy bed hair. You know that kind of model look that, that, look that models usually sport in magazines? Something very simple, natural looking and sexy and sultry. I think it's such a natural and feminine look to go for and it's perfect for spring. It's perfect when you don't have a lot of time to, you know, style your hair and it's just a great thing to wear every day. So I'll quickly walk you through what you're gonna need for this hair tutorial and then we're gonna start. So for this look I'm gonna be using my one and a half inch uh, Ross curling iron. It's pretty good. I'm not too crazy about it but for now it, it does the job well. Um, we're gonna be using a Fructis uh, hair wax. Um, it says Shine Define Hair Wax and you can just get it in any um, you know, drug mart or Walmart or anything. It's probably like three, four dollars. We're going to be using a teasing brush. I'm using Denman, D Denman D3 teasing brush. Really great brush. Always, always a heat protectant because we want to protect our hair and not cause any damage by heat styling. And a hairspray. We love Elnet L'Oreal hairspray, so you can just use the hairspray you have. Uh, usually you want to use something that's extra whole, so it really holds your hair well. And of course, I am wearing my Luxie hair extensions today. I am wearing Chocolate Brown number no. 4, 160 gram set. Um, I just clipped them in. I didn't bother to, you know, blend them in with my hair because I'm going to be curling my hair anyways. But yeah, the color is Chocolate Brown, um, 160 gram set. And that's it. Uh, we're also going to need some hair clips. So you're going to want to grab a couple of hair clips so you're able to, you know, clip away your hair as you're working so it makes things a lot easier. So before we do anything, you want to spray some heat protectant lavishly, especially on the ends of your hair. Spray it all over, but especially on the ends. And I already sprayed some before, but I like to put lots and lots. And then you just let the hair, you know, dry for a minute or two. So once the heat protectant has dried off, you want to just grab it like a two inch section section like this, clip the rest of the hair away and then I usually brush before I curl because I want to make sure there are no tangles because you don't want to create breakage or anything and then what you want to do is just clamp at the bottom that's what I do and kind of roll your way up so bring the curler all the way up it's pretty hot and then you want to hold it for like you know anywhere from 15 to 25 seconds and then just slowly release and you're gonna have like a loose, a pretty loose wave like this. We're going from re for really loose, mm. loose waves because that's the whole look that we're going for. It's like beautiful, loose kind of waves. And then grab another section. clamp at the bottom and bring it all the way up and you do the same thing for the rest of the hair Oh, 
So now that I'm done curling all the hair, I have a lot of waves going th through all of the hair. And they're kind of loose waves, and that's the exact look that I was going for. You know the look of those natural waves, like you just slept in the hair and got out of bed and this is your natural hair? Yeah, hardly anybody has that kind of hair. But anyways, we can create it. So the next step would be to take the um, hair wax that I showed you before and kind of dab a little bit on your finger just a bit and go like this so you have it all over your palms and now you want to kind of scrunch the hair what this is going to do is create more texture in your hair and kind of mess up the waves even more so you just scrunch it I think this is a crucial step in achieving this kind of look especially if your hair is naturally clean like I just washed my hair but this is gonna kind of create a second day hair look like I just slept with this hair and woke up and my hair is looking so fabulous another step that you can do is grab a section here at the top and you wanna spray it and just tease it a little bit and this is just for extra volume overall so you just take the brush up and down and then you let it go and you kind of brush out what you have teased for, uh, for additional volume what you can do is Kind of lift your hair, and this is what really adds the thickness and more volume. You lift it and you spray. And then you lift it and you spray. And you do that all over. So you lift and spray. All right. I'm gonna add a little bit more wax just a little more for more texture more craziness and you kind of like separate the curls with the wax too so this is pretty much the final look once you're done scrunching and spraying and teasing and everything. It's just lovely. I have so much hair. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial and don't forget to leave a comment down below and rate this video. Um, you know, I'll see you in the next tutorial. I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you again for tuning in. Bye!